is cool. Hey, how's it going? It's Brian from Bees Music Shop, and today I have the brand new pedal from Walrus Audio, the Fundamental Ambient. The Fundamental series is their low-cost pedal that they offer now to help people get started, and it's just a pretty cool lot of bang for the buck pedals. This is the first new one in a hot second, and I'm super excited to try out this Ambient guy, especially knowing how many cool things like the Melee and the Fable and things that Walrus already makes in the Ambient world. Let's see what they give us for a lower price point. Before we get going, on, please subscribe, like, comment on this video. Those things super help out a little music store like us. If we can get you a cat t-shirt, a pedal, a cat pedal, anything, beesmusicshop.com. Thank you. All right, I got my sheet here that tells me all about this thing. Let's see what Walrus says. Because vast ambient sounds shouldn't just be for larger pedals with vast price points, the Fundamentals Ambient brings expansive pillowy reverb to the Fundamental series with three atmospheric modes and a compact size. The Fundamental Ambient offers a great entry point into ambient exploration with the tonality integrity to live on a professional's pedal board, but with simplified controls friendly enough for even the newest effect pedal users. With Ambient Reverb's three reverb algorithms, you can experiment with deep, dark pad-like sounds to AM radio-like lo-fi sounds with a flip of a switch. The Fundamental Ambient provides three atmospheric reverb algorithms to explore beautifully vast and lush soundscapes with plenty of decay time for pillowy, soft pad-like decay. And here's talking about, we don't really don't have a ton of controls here. Decay controls the amount of reverb time. Left is minimum, right is the maximum. They have these cool sliders too. I love these sliders. I've heard people, I've heard mixed things. Some people, you love or you hate the slider. I love the slider. I've been turning in a circle my whole life. I'm ready to slide. I'm ready for the future. The future is sliding. Tone shapes the overall tonality of the reverb. On deep and lush, this controls the cutoff for a synth-style low-pass filter. On haze, this controls the width of the resonant bypass filter, filtering both high and low end at the right and allowing more high and low end to pass through at the left. Mix controls the mix of the effect in the original clean signal. All the way to the left outputs only the fully clean signal. All the way to the right outputs only the affected reverb signal. It's got a cool little, these all have a cool little detent in the middle. So you kind of have like a, a zero spot in them. The side switch allows you to change three distinct reverb algorithms. Deep, a dark ambient reverb with an added low octave, perfect for creating a murky cavernous sustain or adding a touch of moody atmosphere. Lush, a breathy, expansive reverb featuring ultra-long sustain, perfect for generating silky pads and immersive soundscapes with every note. And Haze, a textured lo-fi reverb featuring distortion, sample rate reduction, and a resonant bypass tone control, great for vintage or experimental tones. Trails modes. Oh, that's cool. This does that. The ambient reverb comes with trails mode active by default. To disengage trails mode, hold down the bypass stomp switch while applying power to the pedal. Once the LED flashes, it indicates that trails mode is turned off. To re-engage trails mode, repeat the process and wait for the LED to turn dark. With trails mode active, your reverb decay will fade off naturally after turning the pedal off. With trails mode inactive, the decay abruptly cuts off when you turn off the pedal. Which that's like a really cool thing, because you know if you have a if you have a decay and you turn it off, you kill the pedal typically on some pedals it will just stop everything whereas this one you can kick it on and off feed it a sound and it will continue to go on that ambient thing even when you turn it off so for an ambient pedal that's awesome all right before we get going let's hear my clean tones today i'm playing my reverend bees music shop limited edition six gun hpp with reverse headstock cat on the headstock upside down hyper vintage in the bridge let's hear that bridge pickup Here's the middle with just one of the middle P90s. Here's my two P90s sound. And my neck P90s sound. I think that's what I'll be using today. All right, let's try this thing out. Let's start off with deep mode. So this is our dark ambient reverb with added low octave. Perfect for creating a murky cavernous sustain or adding a touch of moody atmosphere. Let's get moody. Okay, I have everything just at 12 o'clock, so. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see if I can make that brighter. I'm going to turn on just my neck pickup and... Boy, that thing is thick. I'm going to turn the K down a little bit, turn the tone up. Let's see. I 
has so much bottom end in it. That's like the mix almost all the way off. I mean, even the mix all the way to the left, I'm still getting some in there. I'm getting something though. It's all the way to the left. That is cool. That's with the decay down. What, what if we can make it big? Let's make it big. This goes like forever. thing is so thick. All right, let's try the next one. So this is Lush, which is a breathy, expansive reverb featuring ultra-long sustain, perfect for generating silky pads and immersive soundscapes with every note. So... <laughs> Make it darker. Man, these things are huge. It is saying ambient delay. I don't know why I'm shocked at that, but. Tails are. That's what Tails does. All right, let's kick over to Haze. Textured lo fi reverb featuring distortion, sample rate reduction, and a resonant bypass tone control. Great for vintage or experimental tones. <laughs> so, what's this tone, dude? Should get like more mid rangey on this, I think. The width of the resonant bypass filter, so. <sighs> this thing's so cool. the decay just feeds in on itself even more. There should be more full range. Oh yeah. Yeah.
Well, this thing's got a bunch of cool, big sounds. I like the octave on the deep. It's definitely a lot of wash, but I mean, that's exactly what this is. I mean, you want this to hold chords and just give you like, it almost sounds like there's a string part or a keyboard player or something doubling over behind you and just kind of lazily following along. It's super awesome. You know, what do you think? Do you think this thing's pretty cool? I think it's awesome they're offering something like this at, a, at such a great price point. So let me know what you think. Drop it in the comments. As always, like, comment, subscribe. It super helps us out. We really appreciate when you take the time to do those things. It helps support a little store like us. If we can help you out with anything, beesmusicshop.com. Thank you so much for watching.